Carol, thank you so much for coming in with Kate de Goldie's new book. And it is so beautiful it with the most gorgeous. magnificent illustrations that I hardly want to slide it across to you. But Aww, take it away stunning. and tell us about it. it. Well, you know, Kate de Goldie is very special. She wrote the 10 p.m. question, which was a, a crossover novel. It was for teenagers, but adults adored it. In this one, the girl is nine. And give um, us the title. It's <laughs> called the ACB of, no, four, the ACB four, mm -hmm. Honora Lee, yeah. Honora Lee. And it's not the ABC, it's the ACB. CB, yeah. Because mm -hmm. Honora Lee has dementia and gets very confused. And um, for Kate DeGoldy, the alphabet, the ABC is, you know, the ultimate sort of um, representative of order order and everything being under control mm -hmm. and of course it's the very thing that Honora Lee hasn't got and can't do. She mm. gets she gets everything around the wrong way. Um, Perry is nine years old. She has very busy parents, professional parents who adore her, very happy family but they're extremely busy and so they have these after school activities for Perry every single day of the week, some of which she likes and some of which she hates. And her Thursday activity falls through, and so they agree that she can visit her grandmother, Honora Lee, in the rest home, the dementia unit where she's living. And she goes every Saturday anyway with her dad, but she now gets to go on Thursday afternoons after school as well, and decides that with her grandmother and the other um, residents of the rest home, or her grandmother's friends, she's going to create an alphabet book. And she gets very frustrated because they don't get the alphabet in the right order, which is why it's called the ACB. Yes. So the alphabet's completely all in the wrong order, but it is a complete delight. And, yeah. and Perry writes it and, and it represents all of the, um, the residents of the rest home in the book and, and illustrates it and everything. Um, it is, what Kate de Goldie is brilliant at is people and their relationships. And she does it so subtly and so simply you know, just one comment someone makes, one action that they do, and you learn so much about them. So there are layers and layers and layers below what could appear to be quite a simple surface. It's also screamingly funny, mm. because of course, Grandma keeps saying, who are you? And Perry says, I'm Perry. And who's Perry? I'm your granddaughter. You look like a boy to me, because Perry has a very short haircut. Yeah. Um, so Grandmother never knows who she is, and Perry is infinitely patient. Mm. And quite which, is, which is heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah. So isn't it amazing that she manages to turn yeah. it into um, something that makes you laugh? And I think yeah. she's based it on her yeah. own experiences with her mother yeah. who um, suffered from Alzheimer's. Um, it is an absolute delight. Adults will love it. And of course, it's beautifully packaged. It's just and gorgeous. It has a fabulous yes. cover, beautifully in papers. And there's gorgeous illustrations by Gregory O'Brien mm -hmm. from Wellington, who's a, you know, a poet and an artist. So it, the book itself is a beautiful package and the words inside it are an absolute treasure. It's a very special gift for Christmas, so I think. So how would you rate this alongside her, uh, one of her other huge successes, the 10 o'clock question? The 10 p.m. question. 10 p.m. 10 PM, 10 PM question, yes. yeah. Mm. Um, equally good, yes. equally good. It's it's um, not as complex as the 10 p.m. question, and it could be read by younger children, but what it's doing, I mean, it's the, like the 10 p.m. question, at the end of it, you want to hug it to your heart. Mm -hmm. It is an absolutely gorgeous book. And a um, wonderful Christmas yeah. present by the sound oh, of it. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. So yes. would you buy it for, for children or for grown-ups? Mm. Oh, I'd buy it for a family in some mm. ways because yeah. um, I think from 9 to 99, you're going to love it. You know, Sounds pretty good yeah. to me. Thank gorgeous. you so much, Carol.